prayer for all round restoration. Let us pray. Everlasting Father, King of Glory, thank you for life, health, protection, and provisions. Most importantly, Lord, thank you for making it possible for me to know you as the only true God. And your Son, my Lord Jesus Christ, whom you sent and who has brought us salvation through faith. Dear Lord, thank you once again for yet another privilege of bringing your word and praying for your people. Dear Lord, I pray to you today, let your word that will be coming out today and the prayers that will follow have a remarkable effect on the life of every listener. And let it have such a positive effect that every listener will live to remember it all through their existence on earth. Let the word that will be coming and the prayers that follow mark a turning point in the physical, spiritual, and financial lives of the listeners. Lord, let these prayers break every siege of delay, poverty, afflictions, and challenges in the lives of everyone. In the name of Jesus, the Christ of the living God. Let every listener be sanctified by the word they are going to hear, let yokes be broken, let sicknesses and diseases flee, and let lack and stagnation disappear. In the name of Jesus. For your word says in Psalms 119, verse 130, that the entrance of your words gives light, it gives understanding to the simple. Therefore Father, let your word that will be coming bring with it the light that will permeate into the bones, marrows, chromosomes, and every part of every one of us, flushing out sicknesses, diseases, and misfortunes and destroying every yoke, siege, and limitation. In the name of Jesus Christ. For it is written in Psalms 107, verse 20. He sent his word and healed them, and delivered them from their destructions. Dear Father Lord, let your word that is coming now be the word you have sent to bring solution and succor into everyone's lives. In the name of Jesus. The Word. Our God is the God of restoration, He is not happy when one of His children loses out. The scriptures are replete with proofs and evidence of this. In John 10, verse 10. Restoration can be adduced to be one of the major reasons for Christ's coming. It says, The thief does not come except to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I have come that they may have life, and that they may have it more abundantly. In other words, Christ came to restore man's lost abundance of life. And he has consistently done it, restoring to his children health, wealth, sonship, graces, and glory. And he promises his children a continued restoration of whatever they lack. Be it peace, comfort, righteousness, health, wealth or whatever, we have just got to understand and make demands for it. In 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, he says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, and pray and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin and heal their land. This refers to their land, which in this context represents our basic physical materials. In another word, God promises us healing and restoration of whatever is not functioning as it was originally meant to function for us. Because land is where we get our food, build our homes, and make what we need or want. Which means land is very basic for our survival and comfortable living. Therefore, it is both biblical and righteous for us to request from God the provision and restoration of whatever would make our life and living more comfortable, conducive, and enjoyable. And God will be obliged to answer us. In Joel chapter 2, verse 25, he says, explicitly declaring restoration to his people. So I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the crawling locust, the consuming locust, and the chewing locust, my great army which I sent among you. What a merciful and gracious father. Here he talks about restoring whatever we have lost. Therefore, with the knowledge of this divine truth, I decree and demand the restoration of whatever anyone under my voice has lost. In the name of Jesus Christ, Everlasting Father, King of Glory, I come to you this hour, knowing and realizing that restoration is my right and heritage in you. Therefore Lord, I ask and demand that you restore health, wealth, honor, life eternal, and whatever good for me, that I have been lacking. In the name of Jesus Christ the Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, you says in Matthew chapter 7, verse 7, that I should ask, and it shall be given to me 
that I should seek, and I shall find, that I should knock, and it shall be opened unto me. Therefore Father, I ask in the name of Jesus Christ, that you give me divine health and strength. I ask Lord for inner and outer peace. I ask you Lord, to write my name in the book of life. Let me always find grace, mercy, and compassion in your sight. Fill me Lord, afresh with your Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, as your word says in Jeremiah 27, verse 22. They shall be carried to Babylon, and there they shall be until the day that I visit them, says the Lord. Then I will bring them up and restore them to this place. Father Lord, I pray for those who have been carried to the Babylon of poverty, sicknesses, depression, restlessness, want and lack, and all manners of deprivation, Lord, bring them back and restore them to their rightful place in you, as kings and priests to reign in power, wealth, affluence and influence on earth. In the name of Jesus Christ, and for the afflicted and all those under every form of slavery and torment, mental torment, spiritual torment, economic torment and spiritual torment. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, according to your word in Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 17, that says, For I will restore health to you, and heal you of your wounds, says the Lord, because they called you an outcast saying, This is Zion, no one seeks her. Lord, heal and deliver everyone under my voice from everything that constitutes health challenges. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I also seek your mercy, grace, and forgiveness for every known and every unknown sin, for sins of omission and for sins of commission, and for cleansing from all unrighteousness. In the name of Jesus Christ, Dear Lord, I knock at the door of your mercy and favor. Lord, through your mercies and grace, open to me the door of access to wealth, wisdom, health, and all my heritage is in you. In the name of Jesus Christ, Thank you, Father Lord, for your answer. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen.